What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be redoing the little saltwater patio pond we have right here. We used to have clown fish in here. I did take them out and add them into one of the aquariums I have, but we now have this empty patio pond ready to add some fish. It's been running for like three months now. I did take the big rock out because I do want to redo it, but I also want to add new fish to it. So what we're going to do is head to the fish shop and pick out some fish and rocks and redo this thing and make it into something epic. See you guys at the fish shop. Here we go. So here are all the tanks. There's literally tanks everywhere. So we're going to go through them, see what they got exactly, and then we'll pick from there. It's a little loud, so bear with me on the audio. Look at this scallop. A flame scallop, but I mean, look at the, it's just very majestic looking. We got a lot of tanks to go through, but I already got my eye on some stuff. All right, this has got to be the smallest huma huma I've ever seen in my life. He's the size of my finger, and that would be sick in the mini pond. And obviously, until he gets bigger, we have a lot more tanks to transfer and transfer them from. And then we have this little box. I don't know what kind of box this shit is, but he is so tiny. They're both the same exact size. So both of those guys would be pretty sick in there. And they would be able to be in there for quite some time until they get bigger, of course. They actually have two of them in here, these little boxes. They have one right there and then another right there, but they are so tiny. And same with this little Huma Huma. If we got all three of those and then watch them grow throughout their journey, I think that would be pretty cool. And like I said, we will move them into a bigger tank for anyone wondering, because obviously, yeah, they will get bigger in the future. But I mean, they are really, really tiny. Micro. So cute. I mean, so tiny, there's another one right back there. It's hard to pick up on them. The camera doesn't even pick up on them because of how tiny they are. I think these are the three we're gonna go with and they all get along, that's the good news. These three fish pretty much feed and live the same kind of life. Two colors. And then I saw the little baby Huma. I've never seen one that small yes. in my life. Yes. And that'd be cool to grow them out and put them into the pond eventually one yeah, day. Yeah, look at that little dude. That guy, and I think this guy's actually smaller than this one. Look how tiny he is. They have two big... Okay, he's small. Yeah, he is way small. Holy cow. And the only reason I'm doing these guys, I obviously know they do get bigger over time, but that's going to be the fun part about it. We're going to be able to grow them and say that we grew them since they were like a penny size into something big. Because that little Huma Trigger, he'll be able to go into the pond one day, which will be really cool to tell the story of we got him when he was this big. Same with these little guys. They're going to get big and be able to go into the pond as well one day. Got a little Huma going in. Oh my gosh, he's so sick. He's so sick. Got the little box fish. What is that? Is that the black one? Yeah. So we got the yellow box fish and the black box fish. They're both box fish. They're really just like slow moving fish gliding through the water. Look at them. We got them all in the container ready to get bagged up. I've never seen this actually before myself, but this chameleon's drinking water right now. So cool. Just drinking like a little dog out of his water bowl. Let me get these guys out here where you can see them. Let's see. We're going to get some out for y'all. Oh, there's two of them. One right there, just hanging out. Let's see. We got another. I mean, look at the colors on that guy. Blue and yellow. And they come in all different colors. This is just one kind. Got another one right back there. Really cool enclosure as well. They're living life. Look at this, Mark Sark. They got their own baby axolotls. They actually bred them. And they're actually getting pretty big now. How big were they when they hatched? Microscopic. Really? Yeah. Wow. They're really cool. And they have like a blue to them, which is even really cool. Those are the ones that glow under the light. Oh, really? Yep. All right. <laughs> Look at this. If you haven't seen it already, a glowing axolotl. This is my first time ever seeing one. I got to put my phone down. This is insane. Look at that. They're literally glowing. I thought she was kidding. I didn't think they were going to glow like that. But my gosh, they're bright green. That's crazy. And the camera picks up on it pretty good. Wow. First time ever. Glowing axolotl. Okay, a little update. You said for cats? This is actually a little blue box fish, this guy. And then the other one is a what, yellow? Yeah, the other one right here, he's a little yellow, a yellow one. And then of course, he's a little baby blue. Huma Huma, so cute. So this little box fish actually didn't come in as a blue box fish. He came in as a yellow, just like that one. And then eventually, I'm guessing what, he turned this color? No, he is a blue, he just came in wrong. Oh, he just came in wrong yeah. color? Yeah. Oh, okay, well that's a pretty cool story. These are all little nano aquariums. In here, I just saw a little bite. Oh, there he is right there. So right here is a little bite shrimp. That's kind of the same concept. They have him in a little five gallon bio cube, but eventually he's gonna get pretty big and he'll have to go into a bigger tank. He is so tiny that this is like a mansion to him and it's kind of similar to what we're gonna do with these little guys. 
We are back home. I did pick up some food. We got our little micro fish right here. A little huma and our two box fish. And then I also picked up some live rock because we're gonna be rescaping that whole little patio pond while we're at it and making it a little more cooler than what it is because it's kind of plain. So see you guys inside. These guys are so cool looking. I wanna get a better view of them once they're out of the bag because it's just a little hard to see. But, I mean, they are adorable. Look at the little Huma trigger, the little yellow box fish, and then our little blue box fish. And these guys all get up to about this big. The Huma trigger is actually the biggest one. He gets up to like that big, but it's gonna be cool because we're gonna be able to see them grow throughout their whole life from little baby fish into big fish one day. And then we'll obviously add them. We have the big 200 gallon, we have aquariums around the whole house, and we even have a 3,000 gallon saltwater pond. So as time goes and they get bigger, they'll go to a bigger tank. But we do gotta acclimate these guys. So what we're gonna do is get a little drip acclimation, get them acclimated. In the meantime, while they're acclimating, we're gonna set this thing up. We got some purple rock and it's all little small pieces. So we're gonna make some cool structure out of that. Here we go. Let's get these guys out of here and we'll be able to get a little closer look up on them. It's gonna be a little different because you gotta remember, we're not viewing them from an aquarium. So like we're, we're not viewing them from the side. We're gonna be viewing them from above. So it's gonna be, they're gonna look, I don't know how they're gonna look just because I've never seen how these kind of fish from an above view. So let's see, we'll be able to know in about five seconds once we get them out of this bag here. Oh my gosh, here they come. Wow, bag is tight, but look at these little guys. Look how cool they are. Look how sick that one is. Let's get them in this bucket and then we're going to get a drip line set up. Give them about 30 minutes of acclimating and then they're going into their pond. Here they go. Oh, that was a little like uh, waterfall. But they are good. That's what they're going to look like. Look at how tiny the Huma trigger is compared to my finger. So tiny and that just shows you how small they are. Got the drip line right here. Basically what the purpose of this is, is to take water from here into this bucket very slowly and then match the same salinity and water temperature. What the? I might have to cut it. Or you just rip it. Or we just rip it. <laughs> so see that small little drip and there it goes. See how it's dripping very slowly? That's exactly what we want. All right, like I said, they're gonna be acclimating. We got the drip going in slowly, 30 minutes, but in the meantime, here we go. So my goal is basically give them a good amount of room and then make some like caves and stuff. I think that'd be cool. Does that look cool? That looks That's sick. Amazing. That does look sick. Do like one right there and add this one like that. That looks pretty sick, honestly. Got a bunch of caves under there and these are all like mid water column fish. So they're gonna be swimming all around. We'll be able to see them. Eventually we'll add some gobies. If you guys think we should comment down below and let me know. I think that would be a pretty cool addition to the patio pond. Um, but I mean, that looks good. For a quick little aquascape, I would say, yeah. Little baby, come tell me how this looks, bud. Little baby. Hey, hey, hey little baby. <laughs> All right, well, I honestly did that a lot faster than I thought. I'm pretty good. I mean, like, my favorite thing about aquariums is aquascaping, so I've always done it. A lot of you guys know that the OGs know. When I would do like Paul's <laughs> tanks, I would, Oh my gosh, I'd go crazy on them. So the OGs definitely know and remember, but um, yeah, let's give these guys about 25 more minutes now since it's, it took me about five minutes to set that up and we'll pick the camera back up when they're done. Okay, I know I said like we would pick the camera back up and all, but um, we're not doing that. We're, we don't have time for that. We're gonna feed the fish, make it a little more epic, and um, here we go. It's been a while since we've done a little feeding, so let's see. Boom, gone, Emperor Snapper. And look at the size of these fish. They're getting massive. Horn shark right down here. We're gonna try to get him some food. See if he'll eat. Oh, blue and yellow cod, gone. The eel, he's getting It's so big. fun watching them eat. Blue and yellow cod. Look at the eel. Oh, oh! oh! <laughs> Holy. Eel, 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 eel. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's like a snake. Oh. He's like an underwater snake. Look at the shark. I know, I wanna feed him. Let's see if we can get Mr. Sharky. Oh, oh. oh yeah, he munched that. Panther grouper? Gone. Oh. Hear that? It's like. They're huge. They are getting massive. The shark, the lionfish, the eel, the panther grouper, they're going in the pond. We do need to get some more size on them. They might get messed with in the pond by the bigger fish. But yeah, eventually, shark, lionfish, panther grouper will go into the pond. Just like you guys wanted. Shark's coming out. Shark's coming out. Is he going to get it? Oh, oh, oh. He got it, he got it. He's in the rocks eating the fish. Look at him, oh my gosh. He's literally upside down right now in the rocks. I wanna to try to get a clear shot of him eating the fish. Let's see if we can. 
I'm out here. Oh, oh, oh. Is that it? Is that the piece? Come on. Over here. Over here. Over here. And oh. blue and yellow cotton. He's getting huge. <laughs> huge. I mean, he's probably about pushing 12 inches now. Oh, shark. Got it. Look at that. He just goes in the rocks. Oh, oh and another piece. Holy cow. Sharky, he's uh, munching away today. We don't really film our axolotl too much on this channel, but we're gonna feed him and see if he eats a sardine head. Oh, oh, he smells it. He smells it. He smells it. Does he want it? You might have to move it a little for him to eat it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 look at him. Oh my. Axolot is munching oh. away. Oh my gosh. Gone. Whole sardine head. He's like a little dog. That's it. It is now time to add our baby aquarium fish to their new aquarium. These, and the reason I keep saying micro aquarium fish is because the, usually we see these guys like this big. I've never seen them all like micro, micro size. And I think it's pretty cool. And that was one of the reasons I got them for this tank. So let's get the net and get them in. Which one should we do first? These little boxes, oh my gosh, they look like little um, 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 gumballs and, and jelly beans. We got our blue box fish going in first. Look at him. Look how cool he is. Oh, oh, he's upside down. All right, oh, and boom, there he goes. A little fall, but he made it into the pond. Look at him. It kind of looks like, just like, not even a fish, honestly, because he just drifts around. But yeah, he's a fish and he'll be able to actually go under here because it also extends a little. Then we have the pump under there. But hopefully most of the time we see them out swimming and stuff and not hiding under there. Second yellow box fish going in. Oh, oh, maybe our Huma. Huma, one of my favorites. Look at how cute he is. Let me know in the comments down below if this is the smallest Huma trigger you've ever seen. Here he goes. It's definitely the smallest one I've seen. Oh, oh, he doesn't want to get out. There he is. Look at him. That's sick, and this is like perfect size for them at the size they are right now. Of course, they are gonna get bigger, and like I mentioned before, we will move them into a bigger tank, but for now, this is plenty big. I mean, he looks like a little minnow in here. Can't even see him. Here we go, yellow boxfish going in. Oh, oh, he's a little faster. Oh, he's so cute though. No. They kind of look like ladybugs. They do look like little ladybugs. I mean, look at how adorable. Is that not the most cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh, his eyeball. Look at him. He's like a little chumpster. <laughs> Here he goes. And there they are. Look, there's two of our box fish. Little Huma Huma's up here actually already eating off the rocks, the little algae and stuff. He's so cool. Oh, this is sick. Looks really, really good. If you guys have any suggestions what we should add, the mangrove plant, obviously 100% we're gonna add that. We just need to get the right lighting. But I'm talking as far as fish, little gobies and stuff like that, comment down below and let me know if we should buy some or if we should try to catch some. Let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, saltwater DIY pond came out amazing. So I'm really proud of it, honestly. Let me know, ready for this? I always do it. One to 10 right now, how it came out. Little Huma right there, picking off some algae and stuff off the rocks, which is a good sign. And then we got our little blue box fish. He just went under the rock. Don't know where the yellow guy went, but he's probably gonna pop. Oh, and there he is, I just saw him. There he is, right there. So cool looking. There they both are. Wow, came out amazing. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below what you want to see added to the little DIY saltwater pond. I think this came out amazing, and I really want to continue doing little things like this. Little DIY ponds and stuff like that. You guys really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It was awesome making it and picking out the fish for it. So if you guys want to see more, like the video, comment down below, because that's pretty much my only way to know that you guys enjoy them, and we'll continue making them. That being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya!